Hi, and welcome to Mods. We're keeping you connected to inspiring science with virtual camp discovery brought to you by Citrix, the museum's official innovation partner. Today is all about aerodynamics and building a rocket that can be launched from a straw. Put your engineering skills to the test with straw rockets. Hey, welcome back to Mods. Brady here with Alina and Lan. We're going to be talking about rockets today. Now, when we see rockets, uh, especially here in Florida, we launch like really big rockets into space, right? But we can make a version of this to do it at home, just using the same principles. Now, to launch a rocket, you need to build up a lot of pressure, right? Now, when they launch a rocket in space, they build up pressure, combusting a bunch of fuel and a bunch of basically explosions that kind of send this rocket uh, propulsion, uh, sending the jet propulsion to this rocket up into space. Now, we don't need quite that much to make a little homemade rocket just to get the same ideas in place. Now, we want to make some rockets that we can launch at home using very safe materials, just basically paper and index cards. Uh, so, Alina, you want to walk us through how to maybe make a rocket that'll use those principles of building up pressure to launch into the air? So the first thing we're going to make is we're going to make something called a straw rocket. So it's still using that propulsion principle, but instead of combusting fuel, we are just going to use our own breath, a slushy straw, some masking tape, paper, and index card for our wings. So the idea is that we're using this as our propulsion source. So first things first is you're going to want to roll your piece of paper around your straw. Make sure it is as tight as possible because if there's too much space, you won't be able to propel your straw anywhere. So now once we have it rolled, you're gonna take some masking tape, you're gonna close off the side. So now you have a perfect cylinder here. You're going to want to pinch the nose so it cuts through the air better. Mm. This is where our little astronauts are going to be sitting. Okay. Go ahead and take some, uh, some masking tape, wrap it around there. Like that, and we close it around. Now, this is aerodynamic as it is. You can okay. shoot it off like this but it doesn't have a lot of control when it cuts through the air. Okay. So this is where wings come in. Oh, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So this is just to kind of keep you balanced and kind of catch that air pressure uh, and keep you flying straight. Exactly, so you can have different type of designs. You can do the four wings, the three wings, two wings, it's all up to you. This is where you have index cards. Now for the index card, you literally just have to cut them in half and then cut them triangular and you have your perfect wings. Whatever color you want, make them as gorgeous as you like. So it helps to fold the index card sideways like this so you have something to put and tape to your rocket. All right, so we got ourselves a rocket we, with the body of the rocket. We have some wings to balance. Uh, so do you think we're about ready to test this one out? Yep, yeah, I think it's ready to go. I think it's gonna fly okay. pretty far. So how do we launch? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, now you have your one closed end, you should have an open end. Okay. This will be where our quote unquote jet is gonna go, our propulsion. So you just stick your straw right into there, and it'll be sticking out like this, and this is where we shoot. Okay, all right, so we're building up the pressure, air pressure coming from our own breath, mm -hmm. and we just wanna catch that in our rocket so that it flies off the straw. Precisely. Uh, in our launch. That was amazing. So now that we've learned how to make our small handheld rockets to launch out of a straw, let's maybe take it up a notch to a slightly bigger scale we're going to show you. Allow me to deliver you. Please follow the rocket. Okay. So this is what we call stomp rockets. This is one of my favorite activities here. Now we've taken this to another scale here. The land is rigged up a launcher that takes the pressure out of our own breath and puts it stored into a recycled two liter bottle. So it starts with our two liter bottle where our air is stored. The air, once land stomps on the, on the bottle, comes through the hose through this uh, PVC pipe contraction with this bar that keeps it balanced and launches us with a paper rocket made the same way as the rocket we launched from the straw. But again, it's now launching from a PVC pipe, so you want the rocket to be about the size as that. So instead of the straw, use your uh, metric for size as the PVC pipe to roll your paper over. Lynn, you want to give us a little demonstration of how this one works? Wow, that was absolutely fantastic. Thank you for showing us that land. Uh, hope you enjoyed learning about 
Rocket's here today, and we know that rocket science always takes a little bit of a trial and error, so if you're having trouble uh, with your contraptions, come down to Mods and we'll be able to help you blast off. But until then, we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Virtual Camp Discovery. Special thanks to Citrix, Mod's official innovation partner for powering this series. Please stay safe and connected with Mods by visiting our social channels at MODSFTL.